everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and Product Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at a small yet powerful die cutting machine, the Baby Blue by Tattered Lace. This is found on Create and Craft and it is an amazing little machine that is very mobile and you can take it with you to crops and events because it's very lightweight. We're going to take a look how it does on cutting dies embossing folders, and of course, my overall impressions of this new machine. Let's first take a look at what you get in the box. This attractive, compact, affordable, and easy to use machine enables you to cut and emboss thin dies and embossing folders up to three inches in width. There is no assembly, so when you take the baby blue out of the box, you're ready to cut and emboss with just a few turns of the handle. It's a great machine for both beginners and more experienced crafters. Not only does the Baby Blue look cute, it's also a substantial piece of equipment, boasting a robust gearing system and a die-cast aluminum internal body. All of that under such a stylish casting. Pop this chic little machine into your handbag or a tote and craft with family and friends. The contoured Baby Blue can be secured onto a flat surface with the inbuilt suction feet to allow you a comfortable die cutting and embossing experience. It's neat, elegant, light, and effortless. It's the Baby Blue. So in the box, you'll get the Baby Blue by Tattered Lace Die Cutting Machine. One A base plate, two B cutting plates, instruction manual. The Baby Blue Cutting Machine will be able to cut compatible materials, including paper, cardstock up to 92 pounds, vellum, and parchment paper. Let's first test cutting metal dies in our baby blue machine. Our plate combinations can be found in the instruction manual. It is handy to have this by your baby blue so you know the appropriate combinations. To cut metal dies in the baby blue, place the thin die onto the A base plate, flat side down and cut side up. Place the card paper onto the die. Place the B cutting plate onto the card paper to create the sandwich. Roll through the baby blue. Add a shim or a piece of paper to the sandwich if the die is very detailed and intricate. Make sure to keep hands, hair, and clothing away from the rollers when you're using the baby blue. Let's take a look to see how these snowflakes turned out. These snowflakes are very detailed and we will use a poker tool to get the inside of the snowflakes out. I will also take a closer look as these snowflakes feature a stitched look. So I wanted to see if the Baby Blue picked out the stitching. The Baby Blue did a great job and it delivered quite the punch and it got all of the detail perfect. Such a great job for such a small machine. Let's follow the same instructions again and run this joy die through our Baby Blue cutting machine and see how well it does. Once again, I'm pleasantly surprised to see how well this little machine does with these metal dies. Let's test out the Baby Blue with embossing folders. Once again, we're going to refer to our instruction manual. The instruction manual will tell us our plate combination needed for the embossing folder. To emboss with our Baby Blue, Place the card paper into the embossing folder. Place the embossing folder onto the B cutting plate and place the second B cutting plate over the top. Roll through the baby blue. For a deeper emboss, roll the sandwich through again. If you have a long strip you need to emboss, you can keep moving the folder along the plate until the whole strip is embossed through the baby blue. Let's take a look at the results. The results are simply stunning. 
For such a small machine, I'm very impressed with what the Baby Blue can do. There is a quick look at the Baby Blue by Tattered Lace exclusively through Create and Craft. Now, don't let the size fool you on this machine. It does a great job with smaller dies and smaller embossing folders. In fact, that is what this machine was designed for, is for you to take to crops and different events because it is so small and compact and lightweight. You don't have to pull out those big clunking die cutting machines just so you can cut one small die for your project. And that's actually what I loved about this machine. Now, the only critical point I had for it was the suction cups. The suction cups did have a hard time adhering to any of my countertops, so I did have to use force on top of the machine to make sure I could get my dies to go through. But other than that, the machine did a great job with any die I put through it and any embossing folder. So, very well done. And the price point is amazing on this machine for those smaller projects. So for more information and for a great deal on this machine, make sure to check out my blog at www.creativeken.com where I'll go into more details of the Baby Blue die cutting machine. Also, don't forget to subscribe and check out my YouTube blog. There you'll see more craft tutorials and some of your favorite product reviews of craft machines and other everyday products. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, stop and like my Facebook page, and join both of my Facebook groups. Basically, anywhere on the internet where we can be social, I want to be social with all of you guys. Well, thank you so much for taking a look at today's review. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight on this powerful yet small die cutting machine. Make sure to check out Create and Crafts other product lines, including their very fun tape runner. They have some great products. Thanks so much for taking a look at today's review. I hope you guys go out there and create something magical. Thanks, everyone.